So, we are watching MILF Manor. This is a real show. It's a real show on TLC. I still know nothing about it. I wanted to be completely surprised. They did their premiere on Sunday, and we are watching it today. I already got beat to the punch by Leon Lush. He posted a reaction three hours ago, and I'm pissed. So, we are going to watch MILF Manor. My goal for the show is to pick my favorite MILF, I suppose. So, that's what I'm looking for. But I guess maybe there's other stuff in the show as well. We'll find out as we go. We are going to watch the first episode of MILF Manor. I hope you guys haven't spoiled it for yourselves already. Here here we go. Here's the thing. The only time you're going to see lag is when I put my mouse on the screen, which I only put my mouse on the screen if I'm going to pause it, which I'm going to do occasionally, okay? That's going to be the only MILF or the only lag. Oh my God. That's not even, that's not even close to the word I was trying to say. I, MILFs are all in my head right now. Let's get it going. My name is April Jane, and okay, April I Jane is our first contestant. I don't think any of my sons realize that I have an extremely high libido. Hold on. Well, they do Except now. My marriage was wonderful for a while. We got together when we were very young. I am seven years older than him. Okay. We just realized that Cougar we by nature. I'm open to having a connection with another younger man. I hope I'm really going to find love. Okay, my thoughts on, what was her name? Her name was something Jane. See, she's not really sticking with me yet. It seems like she fell out of love with her husband because he got older. <laughs> <laughs> my name is right. Paula. I am originally from Mexico City, April Jane. but right now I live Paula. in Miami in a paradise. Hi. Hi. How are you? 48. You're not a MILF. Paula, nice Come on. You. Don't sell yourself like that. I'm expecting for some guys to walk up and introduce themselves. And here comes Paula. Paula. And it's surprising. Not Paula. Nice Paula. To meet. Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles. Oh, that's nice. Such pretty eyes. Do you like Mexico? I love it. It's beautiful. They're going right? to go at each other's yes. necks. When I was 23 I years old, my husband passed away in a car accident. Okay, that's immediately kind of bummer. That sucks. I'm sorry. Contrasted with the last backstory, that's a big difference. I want to honor my late husband's memory by going on MILF matter. <laughs> I'm that kind of woman that really likes to be around a man. I've never been by myself. Like in kindergarten, I, I had boyfriends. Like I've always oh. been around someone special. If someone proposed while I'm here, <laughs> never that would be great news. Wait, if someone's going to propose here? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind that? Is that a part of the show? If someone proposed while I'm here, that would be great news. Okay, I don't know if maybe we're not clued in yet, or maybe she has no idea what show she's on, but I didn't know there was going to be any opportunity to propose, but okay, what? here we go. I don't think it's going to so happen. What are you doing? Can I ask you your age? No, no you can't. <laughs> You can't tell her your My age. My name is So Young. You just told all of I'm us. I'm 50 years old. When I meet you, you looking my so type young. of a man. I so introduce myself. <laughs> I mean, do the jokes not write themselves? <laughs> so Young is not so young. I'm so young and I'm so or What the fuck did she say? <laughs> Sorry, I'm pausing a lot, but these introductions, what did she say? I'm so young, but I'm so, and it bleeped it out. So she must have said like horny or some you shit. Say, hey, I'm so young and I'm so I can't read that, so I don't know. I don't know what she said. I'm a fire love. I have to have those fire love to have a sex. If I don't have that, I could have sex, but I can't kiss anybody because that's disgusting. I'm um, gonna get that one. I'm <laughs> My name is April. I'm 43 years old. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I'm a very simple girl. I married my high school sweetheart. I'm just looking to have fun. And I want to date younger men. What happened to her husband? A lot of guys that are older, they're like in papa mode. And I want to get a chance to do me a little. So when it's time for me to be grandma, like I'm ready. Okay, I like her. I like the second one. My name is Charlene. I'm from Jersey. But oh, currently funny. I live in Los Angeles, Hollywood. Charlene, 46. Charlene. And she's my oldest daughter. She would be 28 right now. She just had a birthday, but she passed away oh, when she was 27. God, this show. So, you can't do this to us. Well, First you can't do this show with an emotional backstory. You just can't. I'm sorry. There should be a notice on the audition that you shouldn't have the American Idol backstory for this show. It brings the mood down. I'm sorry. I feel bad. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared for this. Are we looking for love? Are we looking for romance? We're looking for love. We're looking I mean, for young look, boys. Like, I am doing this for Ashley in a lot of ways because I think she wants me to be happy. I know she would want me to be in love, like, hey, that's the hope. Could I fall in love? Could I get married and come out of the dark? Like, you know, a new chapter, feeling. light on the horizon. How about the guy that are ugly and, but he has nice personality, nice to you, you gonna date? No, 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 no. Usually, I think a lot of girls are like, cool with that. Like if someone's personality rocks and they're like more attractive if they're kind of ugly, all the males are like, no, fuck that. My alter ego is disco mommy. Hey girl! He has an alter ego. 
Disco Mommy, she's really spontaneous. She's just fun. What can no, I she's crazy. To drink? <laughs> I'm calling it now. She is absolutely crazy. She is insane. I have six amazing kids, three girls and three boys. Your family? Looks like a nice family, actually. It's a pretty nice family. wonder what happened. I feel like I've been judged by having multiple kids from not having the same dad. In fact, that's the f number one question people ask me, like, like, if from the same guy? I'm like, no, why would I have six kids from the same guy? Hello? <laughs> I have six dads. <laughs> There's six different dads, one for each kid. The first guy I dated out of my marriage, right? And he was like 14 years younger. And then it became like kind of a theme that all these younger guys I kept like hanging out with and dating. And they kept getting younger. And we literally and had to realize, I can teach younger men a lot of things. What are these things that you can teach them? I don't know if I can say that on TV. Neither can I, Disco <laughs> Mommy. Neither can I. Oh, you married oh. Everyone is very pretty, and I'm like the biggest girl here. Like, what do I have to offer? Don't so do that to us. Come on. So we can have some confidence. Go in there. You're fine. She was very hot. Or what they like. Younger, um, more in shape. I just feel like oh, she you guys are dicks. doesn't know how to clam herself up. I think she's just a little worried Talking about trash out the get -go. being pleasing in that way to the guys. I wasn't always a corporate events planner. I was like the B-girl back in the day on the street corners doing the break dancing oh, and shit. the pop lock and on the cardboard. So <laughs> I like to have fun, you know. What a look, holy shit. Young, you could probably appreciate that, that I'm not stiff and you know, or corny or, or Those are actually great pictures. Very... My favorite so far, looks wise. Actually, all together, I think April might be my favorite. And then I want to learn more about Stephanie. This Mommy will slash my tires if I ever got into a relationship with her. I've always been, you know, a believer. There she is. I love the Lord. Oh, I love and her. I think it's important with relationships. She's I religious. Think partnered, having yeah. God as the foundation is very important. If I was a bad person, sorry, I just took that seduction course. I could really play that God line in terms of flirting with her. <laughs> I could just wear a cross out, you know? I got a text. It says, oh, yeah? it says, welcome to the villa. You're about to embark on a dating experience like none other. Oh. We all receive phones okay, so that we favorite, can receive text though. messages telling us what we're going to do in the villa. I'm a little excited, but also nervous because we have no idea what to expect. Please head to the house where you will meet the new men in your life. Oh. Hey, young men, let's go. I wonder what type of guys young. are going on this show. I'm wondering if the type of guys that are coming on the show are going to be like the same type that we've seen over the last five years on every other Netflix show, which is like guys that just want to like start their career on like Instagram and TikTok and shit. I'm wondering if those kind of influencers are the ones coming out for this or if we get like a whole bunch of people that just weren't doing anything and are like, yeah, I love MILFs. Pretty dramatic entrance here. <laughs> so curious as to what I could find here. I mean, this is it. All of my moments have led me to this one. And hopefully there's somebody here that is going to be interested in me. I can be interested in them. What's going on? That's my mom right there. Don't say that. Not That's not a great me. first line. Me or me. Oh. Oh. It's her kids? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like, ah, I don't like that. That was the twist. Oh, oh, why? <laughs> Hold on. I don't even believe this. I don't even believe this. How would the show producers pull this off without them knowing? I don't believe it. Oh my God. I just saw straight to Jose's eyes and just oh, okay. stay there for a couple of seconds and say, what is- Yeah, there, I call bullshit. There's no way they pulled this off. There's no way they pulled this off. Okay, but what's the concept of the show now? Wait, that's my mom right there. This can't be <laughs> oh, What I'm the like fuck was that? <laughs> Why are you talking like a fuck boy, dude? What's wrong with you? That's my mom. Mom right there, shit. <laughs> We're supposed to date the other moms? Uh, and you're here, that's so oh. weird. That I'm sorry, I keep pausing. I'm still wildly confused on the setup here. How did they find mom and son duos that didn't know about the other one going on the show when it's a mom that wants a young man and the son wants an older woman? That's impossible. This is fake. My son Gabriel was going to be in Mexico with me. I thought he was going to be on a separate dating retreat. You thought he was going to be on a separate and dating retreat on the same fucking dates. weekend? I'm going to be honest. I'm thinking first picking the draft. Like, I'm looking at everything else before my mom. 
Thank Good, you. as you should. What the fuck, Ryan? I'm here to find love. <laughs> Don't get honestly, in my way. <laughs> honestly, older women are very hot, and I know I got the swag, and I, got I, I got frame the game dropping. for them. Wow, yeah. this is like news to me. I'm Joey, nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm April. Uh, April, nice to meet you. This is such a weird I'm concept. I'm not over this. <laughs> but whenever I bring a woman home, it's all disco up mommy to my mom and disco whether sunny. I'm dating her or not. They're both so fucking yeah. psychotic. I think I have an eye on uh, Jose. He don't have a tattoo. He's got green eyes. I'm feeling a little weird. All these women are significantly too, man. older women, uh, so it's pretty alarming. Is that Lil Huddy? Lil Huddy, what are you doing on MILF Matter? I've got this text. So it says, greetings. You are about to start a unique dating journey. Chris All of you Angel. have expressed an openness to intergenerational dating. In the real world, there is often a double standard where an older man with a younger woman is accepted, but an older woman with a younger man isn't. Mm -hmm. Not here. I hate this premise. Don't Women like it being the kids. I'll be in the hot tub at 10. <laughs> Disco Mommy's ready. Oh, Disco Mommy's immediately into it. I'm so excited to meet these other guys. Sign me up. <laughs> Don't judge me. But I get Sorry, the drama ladies. aspect. I You're gonna go for somebody inside. else's kid, the mom's gonna get it's upset. Like I get that. I couldn't even imagine hitting on a girl in front of my mom. I couldn't do that. I would be too weirded out. I don't want to spit game in front of my mother. But I guess these people have no shame. Oh, you're mm -hmm. the baby. Are you going to be 22, right? I'm going to be 22. Nice. Good line. Probably the oldest. Oh, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> there's no way you're old. You're on a show called Milf Manor? Like no, say it ain't so. April. Who knows? Maybe I could get her out of her comfort zone. And Is that me? Am I on this show? Joey, Joey, which yeah. one's your mom? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really want me to point her out? <laughs> so he was like, do you want me to point her out? Fucking go for it, bro. Go for it. You have my permission. Probably gonna <laughs> do something to my mom. This guy's look is... <laughs> I don't get it. What type of person is he? I mean, we're saying emo, but like, is he? I don't know. I mean, the necklace game, he's wearing like a like a Santa robe, black nail polish. I don't know. It's an interesting look. He's got his own look. Jose looks like mad responsible. Like, what? I would trust. Say you look what mad responsible. Know, like, like you look oh, very like trustworthy. Jose. Take my mom on a Come date, Jose. Get over here, Jose. Kiss my mom right now, Jose. I'm not calling you dad. <laughs> I think Disco Mommy's gonna go for Jose, and I think Jose's gonna reject her. It's gonna be a huge plot point. You're not, you're not calling him dad, you're calling him daddy. <laughs> no, I'm calling him daddy. Oh! Out of all of the women here, Kelly is definitely going for all of the attention. It's almost like she's campaigning. Uh, you call him father. <laughs> I wanna like you, Charlene. All you've been doing is bringing the mood down so far. No one's gonna hit on you if you keep bringing the mood down. Disco Mommy's just trying to have a good time, all right? Her daughter died, Gunner. That was a while ago, all right? She's on a show. She said this was for her daughter. She needs to get out there. Six months? It was only six months ago? Hold on, I wanna make a statement. I wanna get ahead of this before it gets clipped. Sorry for the words I just said. I didn't mean them. I had not complete information and I regret what I said. I love MILFs. Let's continue. Attention daters, there are eight duos here and there are eight bedrooms in the villa. Each duo will share a room together. But I random duos? About rooming with Ryan. Oh, it's rooming um, with your because son. Because where the moms who are the most in touch with their sons will win the sweets. All the young men take their shirts off. Who's ready for a checkup at the doctor's office? Oh, that's nice. Oh. I have no interest in watching my mom fill on men. I'm not here for that. There's nothing wrong with a little touch and feel. This show is wild. <laughs> Gabriel's a twin. Oh, wow. But they There's don't the other twin. Fraternal. A fraternal. So you brought the ugly one, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like fake mom laughter. Called her kid ugly and then they just laughed it off. <laughs> I kid, I kid. He really is disgusting. I want you, 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 you. Everyone but me. The moms get a blindfold and they have to go up and touch all of the young men and figure out by touching their chests and abs and shoulders which one is their son oh come on i thought it in my head earlier when it happened that i'm like the son's not gonna be in the lineup right what is this show <laughs> this is wild why would you do that i don't know about this one guys here i go one necklace two three four 
five, six. Gabriel, is that you? That's how it goes. All right, this is gonna be super awkward. Let's do it. moms figure out who their son is the quickest when the best sweets in the whole house. Why is that? So the competition is on. Who wants to win? You've never rubbed me up and down. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, you don't know who's who, so it's gonna be a scary time. I'm ready. Why are the sons in the lineup? Take the son out of the lineup. Disco Mommy's gonna touch their dick. I already know it. Disco Mommy is gonna reach for penis. House. If I pick Joey, hopefully I don't pick him first because then, <laughs> yeah, we'll have a nice room, but it's like, I kind of want more than that. Mm, I don't think so, nope. <laughs> Honestly, Disco Mommy's being a little less aggressive than I would have thought. She's mostly going shoulders and I respect that. The younger guys that she dates. Just kidding. Or especially was, oh, like she's on abs. Okay, I was joking. Face. Never mind. Joey, it's my son. <sighs> Ma, you won off! I'm physically cringing, guys. My shoulders are up. I feel like I've been touched. Here we go. Here we go. Who's ready for a checkup at the doctor's office? <laughs> I so oh. definitely don't want them to touch their son, but they have to as part of the oh. fucking game. I have no interest in watching my mom <laughs> fill on men. I'm not here for that. Oh. Yeah. Nice pick. Uh, you know, we're out of dating show ideas. That's what this is, right? We're just out of ideas. So we're just trying to cross all fucking societal norms that we should have just never even come close to. You had me hooked, Milf Manor. And then you pulled a stunt like this by bringing their sons on. Crazy people. Nice traps. Oh. Hmm. We are both grown and there's nothing wrong with a little touch and feel. All right. This feel like my child. Okay, I'm gonna say yes. Thank you. <laughs> we have to watch every single one. Like, Speed it up, please. This. Nice house. We won. <laughs> we won this sweet. Thank God. There we got to sleep in the everything. same room, Mom. Wow. This is awesome. I'm stoked about being able to like get in the sauna. And then we have the hot tub too. Yeah, that was a plus. <laughs> Just don't really... bring any of them on. You know, it's crazy. It's like they're on vacation with their moms, too. And that could be a very nice thing. You know, when I'm older, if I have more money, I would love to take my mom on a vacation. But now I got to worry about all these dudes wanting to fuck my mom. Wow. I feel like a queen. Like the sweetest, gorgeous. So that whole touching their sons thing had wow. no consequences. Like just whoever won that got to stay in the I'm nice suite. Say, They're still all staying with their moms. Like they have MILF, they have Cougar. We don't have a cute label for young guys. You should just call them Ryan Javons. I'm gonna put that name on the outside of my room. I'll say it. It was a good joke, actually, like that. Kelly is not the natural aesthetic for people that I date. But Kelly's energy is tie hot. Like the spice level is at an all time high. You never know what's bound to happen. I'm actually realizing like, this is a chance beautiful. for us to learn about ourselves. Whether we all find true love or not, it's an opportunity for growth. Great I mean, is anyone here. expecting Let's to find true love this here? This is just a bang, right? Meant I think it's very rare that a guy who likes older women actually wants to like settle down with them. Like a guy who says, I like older women, is usually because they want to bang older women, not because they want to settle down with an older woman. A woman who's older who says, I like younger guys, she might want to settle down with a younger guy, but he's probably not ready to. I feel like all the guys on this show are not trying to settle down, so I don't know why anyone is putting out the idea that maybe someone's gonna get proposed to. I would shit my pants right here live on stream if that happened, but I don't think it's gonna happen. This is your dad. Mom, you could hear that girl. You're gotta be joking. You know what room we're in. Although I know she's got it in her to flirt, and she does do that a lot, I've never seen it first right in front of your kids. You're telling me you so haven't seen the I'll disco see mommy in action? We're going in together. Bye, Joey. The reason why we're fuck here. Your mom. No. Poor kid. I've been taking Joey out of my room. I gotta do that. No. I'm, out. Bye, I'm not sleeping on the bathroom. Please, no. For some reason, I'm immediately drawn to Ryan. And I mean, I get it, it's night one. But I'm very, very open with sex. We Love. know. If it's here, but more so, we're I'm dropping have friends a, a lot bit. of fun. I'm texting. What are you doing? <laughs> Joey's cute. like trying to like laugh it off. Mom, that's so gross. Stop that. But he's really sad on the inside. You said, come up here, mom. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> mom, you texted him, come up here. That's crazy. No, really. Actually, what the fuck, mom? This is night one. What are you doing? I'm gonna take my reins up. 
If Joey continues to cock block me this entire time, he's going to ruin the experience. I knew she was crazy. Second row on the list. Oh my god. (laughs) He just he spawns everywhere. I can't believe it. What the heck, mom? They're gonna be having sex. He's still gonna be in disbelief, just like 10 feet away from them. What's going on, mom? What are you doing? Ryan, that's my mom you're banging. Don't be a hater, Jelly. Ma, you gotta chill out. <laughs> Where are we going with this? Are we, you trying to get the day one strokes? I just like, said, I you're going know. upstairs. Where's Joey going? Is Joey giving him the room? Here he is. <laughs> He's everywhere. <laughs> really not trying to sleep in here with uh, Ryan on the other this bed. This is still going on. Okay. I'm just telling you to make sure you're up in time to go to the gym. All right, tomorrow, bet, bro. Bet, bet. No. I'll see you make, at the gym Joey. tomorrow morning. All right, tomorrow morning, bro. Joey, later. Make sure you're up. I'm cock blocking my mom because first night, no. Good job, Joey. Pull the old, you're joking, until he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a crazy move. On the first night, with no one else at the bar except these three, Ryan is gonna fuck her. I'm not, like, head over heels for anyone. Are you? I mean, I got my eye on one, though. That's about it. Who? Paula. Her and Stephanie are both. Paint her toenails, maybe a color. And then you want to do what to her toes? You want to paint them? And that's a sexual thing for you? Suck the acrylic off some toes. After you paint them, you want to suck the acrylic off of the toes? Shove them off mouth. Okay, that one's not crazy. <laughs> no shame these people have. No shame. Wow. You think this is gonna be good? Dude, it's, wow. it's a pineapple martini. It looks beautiful, wow. thank you. This guy is somehow creepier Hi. than all the bills. <laughs> Which has a good <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't, <laughs> I'll never see this guy in another light. Now that we know he wants to suck her toes. So Paula, I was thinking, I really would love to get to know you and go on a paddle boarding date. Maybe if you're like interested. Yes, I that's cool. Oh, let's maybe do we can get a pedicure yeah. together. On the beach. I don't know. Uh, the paddle board's over there if you would like to go with me. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey, yo, put your feet up on my paddle yes. board. At first, I'm really nervous about Paula and I. What? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But, wow, she like was a very playful person, and I love it about her. Right. He was so open about it. That's yeah, all I'm thinking about. It. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun to be the airplane on the board with Jimmy. And I used to do that with Jose when he was smaller. Do that don't relate it to your so kid. Don't relate really it to your kid. Just don't wow. do that. I'm super glad that Jimmy and Paula are on their mini date because now I get a chance to talk to Jose. He's like super hot and I'm hoping I get to know him better. I called this one. He's going to reject her. Kelly is very assertive, very, very direct on what she wants. That's not what Uh, Jose wants. I find it attractive and sexy. I'm never going to (laughs) I didn't call it right. Hola. I get the fantasy suite tonight. Never. (laughs) Kelly is not the type of girl for Jose. I'm 100% sure. You see his body language though? Look at it. The ridiculousness of him to like point up and be like, yo, that guy's trying to fuck while he's drinking champagne with her on the beach. Yo, look at his body language. He's trying to fuck. I've had my eye on Jose from day one. And I'm definitely going for it. Her weak spot in my eyes are accents i think i think accents really get her it doesn't matter what you look like i think if you have an accent you have a chance with my mom joey i feel so bad for you man he's definitely been dealing with this like his whole life too like his mom definitely came to like soccer games in high school and like hit on his teammates (laughs) i just get that feeling what are you here for i guess i'm just curious okay i'm here for the same reason that everybody else is i guess to um, go outside of our, the culture boundaries that we have mm-hmm. and explore different um, opportunities, different relationships. What a beautiful way to say you want to fuck people that are older. What a beautiful way you put that, Jose. And meanwhile, fucking Jimmy's like, yeah, I want to suck all them toes. What is your type? And I really like men that like to do things like what uh-huh. we just did. Jimmy's got something on his mind. <laughs> she didn't even answer the question. Uh huh. Some of the guys you like. Well, uh huh. Yeah, uh uh-huh. I totally feel a great connection with Jimmy, and I feel really good about myself with him. Who do you think Jose likes? Anybody? Interested in anybody? Not really? Not yet. Oh, there they are. (laughs) We must paddle boarding. I did. Okay, so this was recorded. They were saying that was coming up before. I get the fantasy suite tonight. You don't. (laughs) You actually don't. (laughs) Never. I don't really know Kelly a lot. But what I see and what I feel, she's really wild. And I really believe she's gonna bring drama to 
my family, to my son, and to the relationship I have between Jose and myself. I think so everyone feels that I way too. Don't... What if Jose falls in love with Kelly? No, she won't. You see his body language though? Look at it. No. It's talking. It's no. talking to me. No, I know it's not. All it makes it very clear that she just does not like Kelly. Looks like a totally Kelly. different so person Kelly, there. thinking that Kelly's gonna have to either, one, go through Paula, or two, go around her back. I think Jose is open to love, and I'm gonna show him that I'm the one he should be with. You're mine. Kelly is a scheming man. I like confident men. Okay. There's something going on between me and her that could be the start of something very powerful. <laughs> Jose, stop trying to make everything sound romantic. You just want to fuck this woman once. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend from Mexico that talks just like this, talks so elegantly about women. It's like, no, I know what you want. <laughs> That's not how says I'm type. saying the what That if. won't happen. Hey, mom. I'm not okay. sure if Paula is embracing this whole situation. Like, I thought she came here to and date. We come to an end. end. Whether she likes it or not, I'm going to do whatever it takes to take my man home. So there is no competition, babe. Just as Disco Mommy goes on her fucking villain arc. I knew it. I called it from the beginning. I knew Disco Mommy was trouble. Well, that was way different than I expected. Uh, I hate to say it. I think I might be on board with the whole Suns thing now. <laughs> the drama started to heat up and I'm starting to get on board with it. I was very thrown off at first, but now I think I might be on board. I think that they should have scratched the whole touching your son bit. I think that was unnecessary. I don't think that was a great game. I think we could have did better with 20 more minutes of not that. But besides that, interesting first episode of MILF Manor. Hey guys, why don't you subscribe to the channel while you're here? You might not know this is even the main channel and you might not even be subscribed. So go check out there below and subscribe. Have a good one.